welcome to my channel out and about with Martin. Today we're at Rivlin Valley. Covid-19 regulations still restricting us to local areas which gives us a chance to discover what we have on our own doorstep. Often spending tra time travelling around the country and not realising what we have nearby. <clears throat> Today we're going to start from Rivlin Valley, we're going to walk up to the Lodgemore POW camp around Redmire's Reservoir, back down where I'm Wyoming Brook, finishing here at Rivlin Valley. The sun is out, but it's a cold, crispy morning, temperatures minus one. The Rivlin Dam here is partially frozen over. So need to get warmed up, so let's get started. Let's walk. Start the walk, Rivley car park, come through the car park, take a short left and we start this walk, footpath up here and start the climb up to Lodge Moor. It's a fairly long climb, a nice steady gradient as we climb up. So here we are, the Foxhag Local Nature Reserve as we climb up towards Lodge Moor. A fork in the path here. We take the right fork. The incline is getting a little bit steeper here. The mud is frozen solid so it's quite good for walking on. The steep incline, it's only about 150 yards um, yards long and the walk does start levelling off again to a gradual climb. So we're very nearly at the top of this climb. The track now forks off to the left and the right at this sign. We are going to take the right hand track and head up towards Lodgemore Road and then onto the Sportsman Inn. So we've just walked up this path which finishes off quite steeply. We've come up here. I'm going to go over to the right there along Lodgemore Road towards the Sportsman Inn. Unfortunately, it is shut today due to COVID-19 regulations. So we cannot stop for a pint. We just have to keep on walking. Looking back in the direction of where we've just walked from, you can see the tower from the Lodgemore Hospital, a very old hospital, it was used as an isolation hospital, dealing with very rare and tropical diseases, very infectious diseases, quite appropriate in these Covid times, but now it's been closed down and converted into flats. So we're going to, we've walked up this road, past the Sportsman Inn, and now comes the Red Myers Junior Football Club ground. We're going to turn left, go through the ground, and into the Prisoner of War camp. Into the car park, we turn right into this wooded area, which is the site of the old camp. As we go in, we will see some remains from the old huts, 
we'll have a walk around here as you can see it is now called the Red Myers Camp Plantation maintained by Sheffield Council Parks and Wood Woodlands come up here we we'll turn left you can see it's been derelict for many many years now overgrown very tall trees it was originally used in World War One as an army training camp in World War Two it housed Italian and German prisoners of war and was eventually closed down after the war and fell into ruin you can see there's quite a few of these old brick foundations quite a few of these brick foundations of the old huts this particular prison war camp was one of the most overcrowded in the UK designed to house 300 prisoners in fact it ended up housing over 700 prisoners it's quite a large site in fact part of it is now being cleared and converted into a traveller's site which is now maintained by Sheffield City Council housing some of the travellers in the Sheffield area walk up here actually see some steps going into what was one of the huts the huts were of course had a brick foundation which has still remained the floors still remain but the wooden huts have, dis have all disappeared now you can see it's the end of the plantation there that's how far the camp went the prisoner huts were very close together most of the outlying area was a clear area so you could see any escaping prisoners so what we have here is one of the very few brick built buildings this was in fact a toilet block we've walked into the centre of the camp now I'm going to turn right and head up out away from the camp as you can see still remains the many many huts all the way up here showing you just how a larger site this was you don't get much chance to visit prison war camps in this country so it's a very rare occurrence indeed and through the camp come to a fork in the path 
to the right we have the council maintained traveller site and we're going to take the path to the left if you do this walk you'll come into the prisoner war camp at the bottom left it doesn't really matter which path you take out you want to be aiming towards the top right of the plantation or to the right which will bring you then on back to the top right along the causeway there's many many paths here it doesn't really matter which one you take as long as you come out near the top right of the plantation so we're coming out of the plantation now we're going to turn left head up to the top right corner and then we'll be turning right and heading down a nice path towards Red Myers Reservoirs. So walking along this path now towards Red Myers Reservoir. We're on top of the moors at the highest part of the walk. I like to try and plan my walks. So I start at the lowest part. Get the climbing out of the way first and then finish off with a nice downhill section. Of course it's not always possible you have to take into consideration parking and the locations. In this particular case we've got a nice flat downhill walk back. Well, I hope you're enjoying this walk so far. I certainly am. It's certainly warmed up now. Very cold to start with. If you'd like to make any comments, what you'd like to see in the future, anything you think I'm doing wrong, or things you think I should be doing to improve my videos. I am a beginner. I'm always willing to learn. If you like the videos, click on like, just subscribe to my channel. There are many more coming out, various activities, not just walking. Walking down towards the end of the path, I want to turn left onto this road. A short road section now up to the corner, and then we'll be turning right down into the reservoir well not hopefully not into it to the side of it so I've walked up the road quite a few cars parked here popular spot people taking the dogs for a walk around the reservoir you see the first there were first reservoir there I'm going to walk around all three reservoirs so Let's get on. We'll have a break when we get to the end of the reservoirs, have a cuppa. Down the path. Now turning left. And we'll turn right just past the gate there. You'll notice that I do a turn by turn guide on all my walks. So if anybody is watching this video and thinks, yes, I'd like to do that walk, I can refer back to it and give them a reminder of exactly where to go, how to plan it. And turn right here. If you're not in an area that you know really well, obviously it's always good to have a map. I plot all my walks on a GPS device and take that with me find it very useful particularly when you go out to the areas abroad where you haven't got a clue where you are this is the first of the reservoirs water feeding part of Sheffield quite a few 
logs planned for this year all of course subject to Covid regulations at the time plan on going out doing some walks in Bulgaria and in Cyprus also try and get some motorcycle charity events in I really can't see that happening can't see them having mass events allowed this year hopefully we can get an holiday later on in the year we'll see how things go to lift these current regulations and allow us to travel UK wide then I shall be doing quite a few walks in North Yorkshire over into Wales but as you say subject to Covid let's hope if this year I think this year is going to be still restricted somewhat let's hope next year we can start opening up getting our lives back to how they used to be Here we are at the third final of the Red Mars Reservoirs. We'll walk, walk around now, then head back down towards Wyoming Brook, down towards the finish. Still about two or three miles left of this walk. As I mentioned before, I do plan on doing some vlogs from Bulgaria. There'll be walking vlogs. There will also be a review of the car hire company I'll be using been to Bulgaria many times this will be the first time I've hired a car in Bulgaria so I'll be doing something on what's it like to drive in Bulgaria so also be doing a review on the apartment complex I'm staying at and a review on the airline that we'll be using hopefully that will go ahead I'm holding much hope out to be honest because I am going twice to Bulgaria the first time in June the second time in September more hopeful of the September holiday going ahead and then to Cyprus in October where again I will be reviewing my accommodation the place itself and going out for some walks just watching myself down here it's bit tricky a bit icy when you slide through the ice you're about three inches of mud the sun is very bright today it's certainly warmed up or at least I've warmed up just going across this bridge now shortly going on to a short road section as we go around the reservoir can see quite a lot of ice about today although the sun is out and that is pretty solid my feet aren't even going through there oops they did at the end of course so let's carry on along here walking along the short road section now over to the corner then we're going back through the woods back over the moors as you can see it's very busy here it's actually a Monday morning I'm surprised just how busy it is well we can join the winter months and who can blame them today's been a very pleasurable walk to me made more pleasurable because actually if it being a Monday I should be at work I've got a few days off using up the balance of my annual leave but you always enjoy things more when you should be at work so I'll continue now over to the car park and then over to the moors, drop down into Wyoming Brook. So there we are, walked along this road section, 
Now we'll turn left, climb back up onto the moors. This particular climb, short, steep climb, final climb of the walk. See, we've got a really good view. The outskirts of Sheffield, my hometown. So, um, I've now changed over using a Canon camcorder. The battery has gone on my small pocket. This is, a this is a camera I used for Rivlin and I had a few audio problems with it, with it having an internal mic. So I'm holding it quite close to my mouth at the moment or to my face. Hopefully that will solve the problem. This is my backup camera. View here. Going over there towards Bradfield. Back towards Sheffield there. And now it's all downhill back to where we started. So hopefully you can hear me. It's quite windy. I've got my hand over the mic on this camcorder to try and protect it from some of the wind. When I walk down here Turn right along that path. So we've come to the end of this wall. We've got a path here, one to the right, one to the left. I'm going to take the left one which will take us down into that wooded area. I'll come down the woods. You can see it's quite a steep drop off here, off this path. What we're going to do now is we're going to turn right along here and follow this path. We're zigzagging our way down these woods coming out at Warming Brook. Anybody that's doing this walk need to look out on this path for a post. There's number 10 on it at that post. You turn left and head deeper into the woods. So we've come down this very steep path. Now come to the Wyoming Brook track. We're going to turn left and turn right around the Erpin Bend and down there. This particular track brings back some happy memories for me. In the late 70s, I was an amateur rally driver, living local to this area. Used to come out here 10, 11 o'clock at night, there's nobody about, testing the car, testing my skills, flying up and down this track from Warhead Myers down to Wyoming Brook and then back again. Something you can't do nowadays because they've gated it all off because it was just getting too busy with traffic at weekends. So walking down the path now. Nice easy section. Back to the end of our walk. Up around this bend. You can see down there. 
part of the Rivling Reservoir where we started. So here we are, Rivling Dams, back where we started. I've certainly enjoyed the walk, I hope you have. If you like this vlog, click like. If you don't like it, then make a comment. Tell me why you don't like it, I can only improve. Always open to criticism so I can improve my vlogs. Again, if you do like my vlogs, want to see more, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching Out and About with Martin. <laughs>